driverism number one. much much shorter than the new one so macgyverisms we go all right as you can see let me get on the other side here where it's lighter as you can see the holes the big holes these big holes here don't line up there's a quarter of a hole and a quarter of a hole so I just may drill those holes out bigger as far as it'll go so it looks like I have got to drill that out and drill that out so that's aluminum so it won't be too terribly bad. All right, MacGyverism. Now what I'm actually thinking about doing is this is a zinc plating. I'm actually thinking about, I'm actually thinking about uh, painting this with some primer or something. What I'd love to do, but I just don't have any material is I'd like to make a big step here out of something because this is where I step. So the MacGyverism continues. This is why I'll never own a battery operated boat or a battery operated vehicle because now my cordless both batteries shit the bed and I have to bring out the big guns I got this little file thing I'm having to go in and file out the hole the hole that I'm making here this is a disaster because none of the holes line up and I was just guessing that it would and it don't I'm wondering now will paint stick to that eh, it's probably worth a try It's this zinc coating thing. This is a Titan, 21,000 pound. Uh, let's say two and five sixteenths ball. Whew, I think those two bolts, since they held them, they held it for the last 16 years, they'll hold it now. All right, I think I might paint it or at least try. So I'm gonna take it off and put some paint on it. Well, that little uh, step bit, I guess you could call it, it's not really a step. It's got a cutting edge on two sides, but it's one of them cone-shaped bits. That right there was the day saver from Harbor Freight. And the damn thing's still working and it's been abused. So, Okay, I'm going to take the other one and paint it, but I wanted to tell you something else. You know how you get into the ecosystem of battery-powered stuff? My dad got me this, which is a rigid. I picked it out because it was a really nice cordless drill, works as a hammer drill, everything. And it came with two batteries and a charger all in the kit. And that's how they sucker you in, you know, if you didn't realize this. They sucker you in because then 
you're going to continue to buy like this is a rigid you're going to continue to buy rigid and the reason i got this rigid is because i have this rigid i had to drill a four inch hole in my front deck of the boat and believe it or not my old half inch drill just wasn't doing it 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 was a hand-me-down from my dad so this was a rigid and this was very affordable and it's worked fantastic so now that you're in the ecosystem I got one of these to vacuum out the boat up in the anchor locker and to get the constant sand out of my truck because where the ramp that I use piles up with sand and the city doesn't do shit about it. They let a sand dune grow right where you're backing down. So, of course, in and out, in and out. I counted, what, seven times I have to get in and out of my truck before I drive out of the parking lot. And the seventh time is shutting the door and driving away. And I literally bought this with my proceeds from the tools of the trade page, my Amazon affiliates page, you know, where you go and you can select something off of there from a review, let's say, and I get little pennies, pennies, and it takes months to accumulate these pennies. So, remember I did that video about that really crappy little body camera. That is a video recording device. I am testing out a little tiny, tiny body cam. Well, I took that back because it was a POS, if you remember. It was like 19, you know, uh, 1990 digital camera technology. I took that back. They credited me, Amazon. That's one good thing about Amazon. I mean, it's like light, everything's lightning fast. At least it has been for me. And I purchased this. Now I watched Project Farm do an entire show about battery operated handheld vacuum systems and this was basically number two on his good to go list he tried them all he did the walmart one everything since i had the battery i was in the rigid ecosystem and i have two so now I have one of these to suck all the sand out of my truck. And it's very simple. Pull this out, dump it. So this is my review, I guess, because I watched Project Farm, as we all do, and I made up my mind. I don't need the greatest one on earth, but I got the second greatest according to him and it's light and it works and where the hell's the button oh here's the button <laughs> works pretty good it's nothing unbelievably outstanding but it does the job of picking up sand there's the ecosystem of rigid tools well I ought to wipe this down with some acetone or something and as you can see on this one I primered it all over the place here's the box that this one came in if you big big box free shipping though I believe it was free shipping see you freshwater guys Don't go through half of what us saltwater guys go through. 
I don't care what this looks like. I want to protect it and make it last another 16 years. For $238 with tax, it better last. That's all I can say. All right, I just figured something out and I'm so happy. This here is the Matson floor grip paint. It's all over the deck of my boat. And this is some bad ass stuff. To get this all the way from Tuckwilla, Washington is about $65 or more per gallon. So I always keep a gallon handy. I just had to do a little touch up on my uh, boat deck just last week. So I am going to primer this and then I am going to paint this which has all kinds of grit in it. I'm going to paint this over the top of this so when I step on it I got some grit and this paint is some tough tough stuff. I just came up with that. So this is going to be a good deal. Okay, this primer seems to be sticking and it's dry. Well, this is the Matson paint. And this stuff, I don't know if you're seeing it, it's really soupy and it's thick. You're supposed to cut this with xylene, which is a synthetic, like thinner, cleaner. But I'm not going to do that with this. I don't have any xylene. So all I'm going to do is paint this non skid on the top of this. I'll show you this when it's all finished. Please excuse the lawnmower noise. I no sooner get started to do this and my neighbor's lawn guy shows up and he's going to be cutting his dirt over there. Here's the end project. All covered in non-skid paint. So I'm very happy with it. Now that it's over. And I'm going to be stepping right here. And it's nice and textured. This paint really like coats everything. So uh, it works. There you go. Just a little bit, you know, over the top as I always do. So. I really got it over here too because I bang into the the end letting it sit out here in the sun so all right all finishy I don't have any more projects to do yes I do because guess what I got a whole video to do on a knife series that's coming up next